Welcome back all you Pokey fans. Sorry it's been a minute. Here comes the next video to finish up the last two of the evolutions, Glaceon and Lapion. Because if I'm not mistaken, I remember I did um, Sylveon in a previous video because I was too hyped to uh, wait for it. So, But anyways, we'll start off with Glaceon. Glad y'all can be joining me today. Um, nature is going to be calm. Uh, calm nature due to the fact that its special defense is uh, very piss poor. Um, his special defense is really that bad. He's really good defensively, really good special attack based. So I've got a little bit of a wide spread going on here. Uh, speed's not that great, so I, I did give y'all a little speed investment with him as well, or her, him or her. Um, HP, you're going to want 82 points. With defense, you're going to want 96. With special attack, you want 144. With special defense, you want 132. With speed, you want 56. The reason for that specific spread is so that he can take um, you know heat waves from Charizard you'll only be able to survive one obviously but that with that 132 special defense being calm nature that 10% boost it'll help you out um, fire punches from Grudon should be no problem as long as they don't hit crit so if they're adamant nature and uh, with it, with the full 252, they'll have like a 20% to one shot you, but that is still a chance to survive. So, alright. Moving on, uh, ability, it's your choice snow cloak or ice body. Uh, if you don't run them, you want them on an ice based team to begin with, uh, hell team to be more precise. Hit like a hidden ability of Roros, uh, or the. Give me a second, my mind keeps going blank. The uh, Bomb of Snow, Mega Bomb of Snow, whichever. Um, either ability is actually really good. One, you know, does help with the evasion to where you're less likely to be hit, which, you know, it's not a bad deal. And then the other, uh, Ice Body, so. Uh, moves, uh, Frost Breath is, one, in my opinion, one of the better ice moves because it's crit no matter what. Um, secondly, you want a, either HP Psychic or HP Water. It's y'all's choice which way you want to go. That's just to help with y'all's coverage against either fire types or uh, fighting types. So, Plus, the water will also help against rock types as well. So. Alright, then you can eat, then you run protect, and I put barrier just to help it, that little extra defense for your team. So, items you can either run never melt ice. I have down uh, bright powder or lax incense, whichever way you want to go about it. And then you can you can run live leftovers to go along with the ice body, so you get an extra heal every turn. I was thinking about implementing the move Wish, but I figured with you building up your physical defense, your special defense at where it's at as of right now, and, you know, your abilities to factor it in everything else, you should be alright, so. It's really y'all's choice in the end. Moving on to the next one. We got Leafeon. Uh, let's turn the camera real quick. Alright, Nature, you want careful. His special defense is horrible. Really, really horrible. Alright. Uh, EVs, you want 102 on HP. It needs the health for the way I, for the setup I got set for it. Attack, I only put 108 investment into it. Defense, 80 because 130 base defense is really good. It's really good. That's 396 total defense if you maxed it out, but there's no sense in having to max it out if you can take it, the, any hit thrown at you. 
uh, special defense 160 I did a lot of special defense investment just so that you would be able to survive moves like heat wave and stuff like that uh, and speed 60 I gave it a little bit more speed boost than I did the uh, Glaceon ability I prefer chlorophyll myself for the extra speed the times two speed and sun so that 60 points will let you bypass Greninja's that it'll let you bypass um, as long as they're not choice scarved but pretty much most most um, Pokemon you come across uh, that doesn't have any speed uh, items like the choice scarf or um, isn't getting affected by speed from weather you, you'll bypass all of them um, moves I have U-turn help the switch um, leaf blade facade and aerial ace or you can run protect depending on the item you choose the item setups I have for it is either choice band to maximize your output damage which is why the aerial ace instead of protect lumberry is for either or um, it's your, really your choice um, proud that though if you ran lumberry more than likely you'd want to run protect as a just in case precaution razor fang and expert belt razor fang to help with the crits and then expert belt just to help maximize damage as well and still have to be able to use protect but the only bad thing about the expert belt you the move will have to be super effective so I believe I, I like I said I already did the Sylveon but I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in this video anyways uh, just to throw out a reminder for it for y'all uh, nature bold or impish uh, the bold EVs are gonna be 90 HP 200 defense 72 special attack special defense will be 148 if it's impish nature, you're going to run 74 HP, 148 physical attack, defense will be 180, and special defense will be 108. Uh, ability, you're going to want pixelate regardless. Um, if you're bold nature, you're going to run hyper voice, protect, shadow ball, and psy shock. It's about the best there really is for it. Uh, if you're running impish nature, I would run return, quick attack, facade, and protect. Yes, those all become fairy type moves granted but you're getting the pixelate stab uh, you're getting stab pixelate 30 percent boost plus i threw the items pixie plate and wise glasses to help with uh special attack or just straight up fairy damage so either way you go it's you're you're getting maximized damage so yeah and if y'all ran it with a uh, baton pass, you know, physical attacker like um, like a Blaziken, for instance, uh, with speed boost every turn, protect, uh, the, run the most protect, swords dance, or power up punch, your choice. Um, you know, just other moves that increase the stats, then just baton pass it over to Sylveon, and he'd be really 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 overpowered a buddy of mine did it and he just like completely swept my team my 2015 team and 2016 team I was running at that time which it's changed a lot since then but that that was saying something because I had my score on the um, uh, rating battles I was at right then at that point in time I was 1728 which is not the top scores but that's that's doing decent for myself so and he, he just swept me completely which now that I think about it only one of my Pokemon was actually weakness to fairy type moves but and that was the best two out of three match and he, he won the first time because it was completely unexpected and then the second time which I was prepared for he still swept me he he, he forrowed me like just straight up so it, it's a it's a beast it really is but thank y'all for joining me and i hope y'all join me again um i am going to be having more videos posted real soon um i'll have to see what i'm doing how my schedule goes uh sorry to y'all who likes watching my videos um and everything 
for not ha keeping it um, updated enough. If anybody sees this, uh, my any of my videos and y'all like it, please subscribe or just click like on the video to help me out. Um, thank y'all and I hope y'all have a nice day.